What's going on everyone? This is Sean from All Things EV and in this video I talk about a report, a recent report as of yesterday from Bloomberg that states that Tesla has selected a stainless steel supplier for the Cybertruck. It states that the materials will be shipped to Tesla's assembly factory in Austin, marking a major product shift for Autocompu, the people said, asking not to be identified because the contract is private. The Helsinki-based company is Europe's largest producer of stainless steel and is well known for working with automakers when making exhaust systems. I'd never heard of this company, Autocompu, and I hadn't seen a lot of talk about it in the last 24 hours, so I did some digging and I found some interesting things that I think you while watching might really appreciate. For starters, the company is not new to the automotive space. They have worked with automotive companies before, but my guess is probably not to this extent, creating a whole frame or exoskeleton for the actual vehicle. I happened to come across a white paper on their website that addressed the primary concerns around using stainless steel for buses and coaches. This to me had some similarities in what to consider when producing an electric truck. They broke it down into four categories. Number one, passenger safety and comfort, sustainability and CO2 minimization, weight, and lastly, cost. So these four factors are really important when creating a bus made of stainless steel and I also think that these are important factors for creating a stainless steel pickup truck. The white paper goes into why they believe stainless steel is superior to carbon steel. In regards to their stainless steel, they say finally there is the high strength Forte range of stainless steels including Lean Duplex Forte LDX 2101. This has a 600 MPA yield strength and the austenitic material Forta H800 with an 800 MPA. Forta LDX 2101 has high corrosion resistance. However, Forta H800 has been developed for its high strength capabilities, which is why its corrosion resistance appears low for a stainless steel. They say Forta H800 is a fully austenitic stainless steel developed for safety critical structural vehicle components. It opens up new opportunities in lightweight engineering and design by combining ultra high strength and very high energy absorption in the event of an impact. It also has the benefit of being nickel free, removing the price volatility associated with grades that rely on nickel as an alloying element. The twinning induced plasticity strengthening mechanism is one of the most important characteristics of Forta H800. This means that the material structure hardens continuously when subjected to a crash impact. The one thing we don't know is how similar this Forta H800 is to what Tesla plans to use. It's my understanding that Tesla is using a proprietary stainless steel. We know that because of a report by Electric that covered the patent application. So there are a few takeaways from this white paper. Number one, stainless steel is lightweight, it's incredibly strong, it's anti-corrosive, and it's absent of nickel. So if you're going to create not just the next generation of electric trucks, but the next generation of trucks, it seems like stainless steel is the way to go because it's incredibly strong, it's lightweight, it's anti-corrosive, and it's sustainable. When you start to understand the benefits and value of stainless steel, it makes more sense as to why Tesla is going this direction. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you planning on buying a Cybertruck? Did you learn something new from this white paper and what was covered? Sound off in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.